welcome back to a new video and today we're gonna be going to pick up my wheel from the shop right now um so what happened was that now that i got unbent um i discovered there was another crack so that's why the air was leaking so um all three other wheels are perfect um it's just that one is just leaking so they got, i'm getting it welded hopefully um it's good enough to be hold temporarily for a couple months in order for it to be uh i was like semi perfect weld i would say but we're we're gonna go to hayward to go pick it up to see how how it looks so uh roughly 40 minutes to get there but let's see how it looks let's get there right now All right, you guys, I finally got my wheel back and they finally welded it right there. If you guys can see right there and they welded it from the inside and on the outside too. So it's completely more stable than just being on the outside. So I'm going to let this thing uh, sit for one day. Actually, it's been sitting for two days, no air leaks. So it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and install this probably tomorrow so just in case to check the t uh, tire pressure monitor to see if it's leaking or not just in case so it's happy you get this we got this uh let's put this in the truck and let's get it all right guys so if you guys are wondering how much um they cost uh they charged me for the weld uh it was 130 dollars 130 135 i don't remember um and they welded it from the inside and they rebalanced the wheel which I needed them to do so because uh, the previous owner, when I got it back from the shop for them to unbend it, um, the weights that they put on was about to fall off. And these weights that they put on, it looks more secure, they're sturdy inside. And the fact that it's welded from the inside and remounted is much more than perfect. So, and I, as I was checking it, there was no there was no air leaks or, or anything that and you can see the weld so it was which is pretty much perfect so hopefully this is a temporary fix uh good enough for a good six months until my new barrel comes in other than that uh we're gonna wait till tomorrow to put the wheels on because i want to see if the air leak if there's any air leaks um all right guys so i'm saying fuck yeah i'm putting these wheels on so yeah, and I have to adjust the tire pressure monitor on uh, the tire pressure on this wheel, um, the uh, driver's side wheel. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and just jack up this car, put it on, and adjust it really quick. So, let's get right to it. All right, so far so good. Um, so both of the air pressure on both sides are evenly uh, distributed. And then the rears are so slightly, just very slightly. This one has at least 39, 40 PSI. And then that side has at least like 37, 38 PSI. So it's just like a, a small amount of difference. Um, nothing, no biggie. So coming in here and checking the PSI. So 39 and 39 in the front. So both are okay. Oh, it's actually 37, 40. Yeah, so um, this was at 38 and this was normally at 37. So these, these two should be okay. I'm finally happy that the wheels are back on. Uh, it bothered me for running my friend's stocks. I need to get any return those back to him. But uh, hopefully that could be able to hold up. Otherwise, <laughs> it's going to be a really big issue. And I don't know how long the barrel is going to take for it to come. Overall, this is, this is actually pretty good. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning these up again. And then just get ready for work. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. 
And if you guys want more or actually enjoy my vlogs, I know they're not that good. But if you guys enjoy it, feel free to leave a like and peace out.